Hello, 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 everyone. Hey, welcome back to my channel. All right, let's see what we got for you today. Uh, we have a gorgeous looking car. I mean, gorgeous because from where it comes from, I find it to be an attractive car back in the days. You know, it may not have the best reputation, but it's still pretty good looking to me. I like, especially the front. I like the front a lot. This is a... 143 scale 1978 FSO Polo Ness. Now, the FSO Polo Ness, it's a Polish brand, Polish car that started more or less copying uh, cars from Fiat. If you remember the Fiat 125, they, oh, they started doing the Fiat 124. Um, the Fiat 125, but a bit different. It had um, a bit different in the front headlights, a bit different in the back taillights. And I, and I tell you the truth, I actually found it more attractive, the Fiat 125 from Poland, than the actual Italian one. I don't know, maybe it was a little bit more... I find it, it was a little bit more... Um, good looking actually to me more elaborated the the 125 that came out from italy the original one it was a bit of a a copy of the 124 but a little bigger obviously a little bit bigger a little changes here and there but not crazy but the one from poland kind of put a little bit more like style in the front like in the back also the tail lights were too each side had like two straight lines instead of being a whole piece. It was a little different. I don't know. I just find it more attractive. But going back to the FSO, this FSO started back in 1978. And it stayed in the market all the way. I mean, they renewed it here and there. The model got more modern to change it. But it stayed in the market until 2002. 2002. The first generation FSO Polo Ness, which is this one, it stayed in the market until 1991. So that's quite an achievement, almost 20 years old. And it sold everywhere, in Poland, in China, in Thailand, in South America, except for North America. I'm not sure about Mexico. But this car was in many many countries even western europe it was quite you know it was a cheap car for them in western europe but it was there and you know it helped when you couldn't afford buying a, a volkswagen or a renault you could buy an fso quite attractive I, I like i like the model i like the style it reminds me a bit of different cars when i remember seeing this car as little it reminded me about about the Volkswagen Passat from the 70s. It had a little bit of the Passat. It had a little bit of the Simca. If you remember the Simca, was it 1307? Something like that. It had a little bit of Simca. It had a little bit of different styles. But at the same time, it was their own style. It's not exactly a copy from no other brand. So I like that about the car. And I tell you the truth, I, I, this ex ex example, this black line over the headlights, it's that trim, it kind of gives it a nice look in, in the headlights, like that special, you know, separation. I don't know, it just gives it little touches here and there. It makes the car attractive. I'm not sure if it came out with chrome wheels. I don't think it came out with chrome, but this is, you know, these are... Smaller example, so they, and this is from Diagostini. Diagostini is not definitely not the most um, detail brand because they're on the cheaper side, but they make models that a lot of other companies do not make. So I don't have no complaints over that. All right, I'm gonna go around a few times to so have a nice look at it, and I'll be right back.
Okie dokie. So let me know what you guys think about this car. Have you ever drove one of these? Have you seen them on the streets? And let me know where you guys are from. I would love to know what countries had this model, what countries did not have this model. I remember specifically in this color, I seen a few of them back in my my youth. But um, I don't know, I always liked it. They made them as pickup. They made them as two door. Um, they had a cute, cute different. When they got more modern, they changed the front a bit more, like in like slanted, more rounded a little bit. But the the style, almost the same shape. Definitely, definitely an attractive uh, car. It sold quite well in Poland. And it sold for many, many years. Unfortunately, FSO is no longer in business. For a while after they stopped doing the Fiat, I remember they also worked with Daewoo for a while. But they was no longer running either. Unfortunately, they was also part of um, car history. <laughs> now, do not forget to give me that nice thumbs up, please. I sure truly, truly appreciate. It shows me you guys are enjoying this video as much as I enjoy making them. And also, do not forget to click and subscribe. When you subscribe, do not forget to click the button next to the subscription. It will remind you when I post to more videos. So that's a win-win situation. You don't have to do no, no search. You don't have to wait. You don't have to keep looking. The system does it automatically for you. Okay? And stay safe more than ever. Most important now, uh, more than ever, like I said. And goodbye.